Okay, carrying on from where we left off, let's look at adding these uh, knobs to control the X and Y position of our XY pad. So we're going to need to add a couple of controls, so we can just add those now. Uh, we'll add two knobs. And the knobs are going to have the range of 0 to 1, so that matches the range we're using for the X and Y of our panel. Uh, we'll set the middle position to 0 0.5. Uh, the step size is fine, save and preset, that's all fine. So let's rename this, so I'll just click on the knob, press F2, and type in KNB XY0. And we'll just hit compile there. And now we'll add another knob. So same thing, change the middle position to 0 0.5 and change the name, the ID, we'll do it up here this time to KNB XY1. And we can change the text on these, so the first one we'll just put the text as X, and the second one we'll have the text as Y. Okay, now we need to get references to these knobs, so we'll just do that in the script. So we'll have a comment first of all, KNB XY, we'll make an array called KNB XY, and we'll do a for loop, for i equals 0, i is less than 2, i++. plus plus. So our loop will go from 0 to 1. So the same as our knob numbers here, can be 0, can be xy0, can be xy1. And inside the loop we're going to populate our array. Let's just add a few lines here so we get that text in the middle of the screen. There we go. So it'd be can be xy, so that's our array dot push content dot get component can be x y and then we add the i variable to the end of that to give us our zero and one and then we'll do can be x y i so whichever one we're currently looping over dot set control callback on can be x y control so that's going to be our control callback and now we'll just declare the callback here. Right, and now it's really straightforward because what we're doing uh, with the mouse callback on our panel is we're setting the panel's data object and inside there we've got a, a property called X and we've got one called Y. So we're just setting these X and Y values to whichever the X and Y is as determined by the mouse. How we, how we did it all in the last video. So we can do the same thing in this callback, but instead of using the mouse position, we just use the values of the knobs. Now we could be fancy and we could detect which knob was moved. So if it's the first knob that we set the X and if it's the second knob we set the Y, but we can be lazy as well. And just no matter which knobs moved, we set both the X and the Y to the X and Y knobs. So I think we'll do that because it's just straightforward and we don't need any logic. We don't need any if statements or anything. So we'll just do PNL, uh, what do we call it? PNL XY dot data dot X equals can be XY zero dot get value. And then same thing for the Y. Just change that to one. And then the last thing we have to do is trigger the panel's control callback which is up here because this is the thing that will actually update the mods for us, the uh, um, MIDI controller modulators we've got, and it will also repaint the panel. So we'll just trigger the panel's callback. PNL XY dot changed. And I'll hit F5. And let's have a look at our mods as well so we can see those. So um, there's the first one. There's a second one. And now if I move these knobs, we should see our dot moves and our controller mods update. Now we've got one more little thing to do because currently if we move the dot, it doesn't affect our knobs. So we just need to add that last little stage. And the way we do that is basically in the uh, panels callback, we set the knobs. So up here in the panels callback, we can write can be x y zero dot set value to x, which we've got here, and for one 
we do it for y. Now you might be worried here that we're going to have some recursion because we've got the knobs calling the change callback which sets the values of the knobs. But we don't have to worry about any recursion because first of all if there was recursion here highs would take care of it but secondly there isn't any recursion because we're not going to call the changed callback for the knobs. So we're updating their values but we're not re-triggering the callback down here which would re-trigger the panel's callback so that's there isn't going to be a recursive loop there. Okay so now if we move our dot it should move the knobs. There we go. Got the full range of values there and our knobs still move the dot. So there we go, that works really nicely. And uh, as we saw, it, it updates the controllers because it's just using the code we had before that updates the controllers. Right, I hope you found that useful. If you've got any questions, you know where to leave them. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.